Highlander and Reformed. DLC? Uh, all of the DLC. Oh, right. Needs to prevent that. And now we can get our troops home because we're... Uh, we're about to fight a very big war. Well, we need to wait for this fucking core to finish. Unfortunately. So we're a bit of a ways away from that. I can finally stop paying for my army now, though. Check the province history? Yeah, I won't be able to check that. I can only... It, it got culture shifted. See? Great Britain culture converted it to Scottish culture. But it was Highlander when Thingy went bankrupt. We can even pay back a loan. Fantastic. Now, I do have rebellions incoming. Uh, yeah. Not really worried about those. Shit, I, uh, what did I just start to, con no, I don't want to convert these. I want to convert these islands. Before I make it into a colonial nation, otherwise I run the risk of the colonial nation collapsing to Catholic. Because colonial nations are gar- can I even convert this? Yeah, okay. Right, and after that's converted, we can start to, uh, core that land. <laughs> no, I won't give GP access. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Castile would kick his teeth in. But now he doesn't want access anymore. Do you want access? Here you go, buddy. Go kick his teeth in. Finally core that now. And I think this is like the fifth time I've seen uh, France declare war on Huron. But not with the same war goal. And I can prevent this from firing. I just have to core it first though. Otherwise we uh, needlessly increase the autonomy. There you go. And now the Catholic Salad should stop firing. But they might transfer over to Castilian Separatists or something. No, no, they're just gonna drop down. Nice. And what about Freely? What's going on over here? Yeah, war exhaustion's a bit of a problem, but I don't think that's gonna fire. Oh god, no. Please, no. I mean, it buffed out. Now, what kind of general that we get? I don't know. I think we got this one. No, that is possible. Of course, we got this one. And I would like a discipline guy. And we are pouring everything, right? Yes. Um, um, oh shit, this is gonna give me a truce with uh, Portugal. Yeah. Screw you, Brandenburg. Do I really value Brandenburg? I don't, I don't want to lose prestige. 
Okay then, buddy, I'll accept the stupid call to arms. It's a bit sad, though, because now we're at war with these, and now I can't core that shit. Bummer! If you have a chance, can you please list bronze, silver, and gold, maybe in the title? Uh, yeah, I can. Um, bronze was... we already got bronze, which was to establish the Kingdom of God. Silver is to get the Holy Trinity achievement, and the gold is to get 500 atheist provinces. This is gonna get wiped. Shit. Well, this is going nice, swimmingly. A-OK, -okay, all that. At least gonna need two extra cannons to make that army work. And hopefully we'll be able to sneak past the Portuguese. What happens if I separate piece out? <laughs> well, I'll only get a five year choice with Portugal. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Let's unseach this land. How high am I? <laughs> uh, blazes. Blazing. 420. Super high. High as a kite. Alright, we can peace him out. I lose 10 trust. Negative 25 prestige anyway. Fuck me. This is dumb. <laughs> this is lame as balls, but uh, it looks like we can get a different ally. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought we could avoid the uh, negative 25 prestige that way. Oh well. Fugazi Fugizi. Now we did uh, almost finish this conversion. Oh, that's Granada. Come on! There you go. Now we can core these. And I think we finished all of these conversions. Let me just go check. No, we still need this one. It's almost done. And then we can core those and uh, get myself a colonial nation there. <coughs> oh, and these are at war with Castile now. So we really have no point not to declare this. Um, what? Do I not have 10 favors with France? I got 20 favors. Then why can't I call him in? Ah, oh, okay, because promising land gives him an extra reason. Yeah, okay. Um. I, I, I don't want that, though. Yeah, I don't want to give him Savoy. I want that land for myself. But he doesn't want this land, does he? No. So he, he doesn't actually want any land. 
So, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll promise to get. Ha! <laughs> promise to give you all of the land, buddy! Alright, now do we want to set Oshi as a co belligerent? Oh, fuck the hell no. Look at his allies, though. Clan Rickard, Great Britain, Livonian Order, Salzburg, Aragon, Genua, Savoy, and Russia. Eight! Eight fucking allies. These Habsburgs, man. They, they, they sleep around. Jesus. Do I want to send anybody else as a Cobalatron? Yeah, I may as well set Great Britain, right? I mean, it only adds Clan Rickard, so sure. He wants Corsica? Oh, he's gonna forget that he wants that. Oh, and if we set the Livonian Order as a Cobalatron, could we... Who are you allied with? Ah, no, they're allied with Poland. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, this is fine. But we're not going to be fighting that war. Well, we are. But we're not going to be fighting that war. Because what we're going to do... Is we're going to fight this guy. Because that's the real guy we wanted to be fighting. But I couldn't before. Because, uh... They're allied to France. And I don't want to fight France. Please fix chat. What's wrong with chat? All hail Chad. Right, we did finish those conversions, so we can core this now. And... Don't have enough admin points for that. Bummer! What we can do is raise war taxes. What happened to my... Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about these cannons and now one of them died. Nah, oh, whatever. Aragon, time to die, buddy! Ah, oh, shit. Portugal's the defender of the fucking Catholic fucking faith. Ugh. Ugh. So now we get to fight Portugal anyway. Oh, you're kidding. You're actually kidding. <laughs> well, that, that's, that just fucking sucks now, doesn't it? That just fucking sucks ass. <sighs> Grab Corsica before declaring the Aragon War. I, just, I don't need to. It's not like Savoy's full annexable within reason, anyway. Well, I have to pick one side. I can't let him just walk across here. Aragon, that is. So, I, I have to kill one of the two. So, I guess I'll just focus on this side. Portugal's gonna siege a bowl of Iberia, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't afford another army. I mean, the most I could do is bring these... Bring these over. I guess I could delete them and rebuild them in, in Europe. That'd be faster. Okay, we'll do that. So can I now afford a second army? I think I might be. Able. Yeah, okay. Oh, 
But do we have 30 available mercs? What a surprise. It's a little bit more expensive. Oh. Well, we're not gonna tech up anytime soon. I don't need to embrace that now. All right. Now we gotta wait for that army to finish. Player, I found that with Atrix, if a vassal occupies all the forts of vital interest land of your ally and they don't occupy land that they won't, don't want, they don't get to trust it. Okay. So what you're saying is occupy Corsica and uh, set, uh, give it over to the Teutonic Order. I think that's what you're saying. So we'll try that. Now watch me, watch me finish these troops and then Portugal not wanting to join. That'd be so typical. And yet I'm not going to be surprised in the slightest if that's actually what happens. So I don't even know if we'll be able to get, uh, if we'll be able to go toe to toe with Portugal here. We could certainly try. What other war is he fighting in? Oh, Huron, okay. I don't need to worry too much about that then. Right, and we've got a proper general with us, so... I guess we just declare the war now. Is there anything nice we can pick up? Nope. Do I have a discipline, dude? I do. Alrighty then. Let's declare this war. Conquest take... Salerno. That brings in Portobola. We're gonna need to siege this down and uh, somehow win that. As far as Portobola itself is concerned, we're just going to siege down Lisboa. And uh, that'll be the end of that. Institution map mode? Okie dokie, buddy. Here you go. We almost have a thingy everywhere, so... Manufactories. I'm hoping he's not going to interrupt me here. Sieging down uh, Lisboa itself is really difficult to do. Because it has a... Uh... It gets a special bonus through event. The Tower of Belem. Plus 25% defensiveness. Why do I hate Portugal? Because they're stupid and they build island forts everywhere. Are you bankrupt? No. I, s I thought I saw walk in here with full morale and then it... And then when he actually fought, he had zero. It must have been a visual bug or something, I don't fucking know. Right, does he think he can win that? Probably. I'm gonna need a little bit more reinforcements, but I really don't have any.
Oh god, okay, he's... <laughs> but look at his army though, it's 53 infantry, 2 and 3. Uh, how bad could it possibly be? That's what I thought. All right, let's move on to the next fort. So who else are we fighting it? Yeah, just Portugal. So I'm hoping after sieging down Lisboa, we can just kind of fan out and uh, siege up the. Oh god! Okay. Oh god! Oh oh banana! 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 That is not a shitty army, and he's got a really good general. A 3-5, banana, 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 ba oh god, oh banana, 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 what idea is the- OH BANANA! He's got tech 23. Oh shit. That's extra tactics. Well, I better, I'd have to roll really well if I wanted to beat that. Let's check what ideas he got. Oh, he's got defensive and offensive. He's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna work. We're gonna need to retreat here as soon as possible. Either that or roll only nines. It's the only thing I can think of, because this is this is a proper working army and Oh well, we do have more discipline. And this is a good first roll. If we keep rolling like this, we might win. Nope. Nah, I may as well see it through. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The game bugging up and me retreating one province away and then dying. Okay, so that's the worst thing that could happen. Um. No! Okay. Yeah. To be expected. I don't want to consolidate because then it deletes one of my... Uh... My... Art oh god! <laughs> oh, you don't make this shit up, dude! Oh god! Oh, so good! Oh, amazing! Absolutely beautiful! Yeah, that's okay. Well, that's uh, I think that merits a bird. Oh man. I don't... Well, we're not dead just yet. <laughs> Never lucky. God damn it, dude. That is so fucking sad. I don't even know where to begin with that bullshit. Oh, somebody in here was a low. Yeah, it's Clan Rickard's Colonial Nation. Please stop bullying me. I just want to. I just want. To, no, 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 don't, don't. Alright. For fuck's sake. Portobola. When can, when can we even remotely get here?
Yeah! <laughs> Leave it to whoever I'm fighting to pick up Tech 23 first. Rage quit moment? No, that wasn't a rage quit moment. There's many things I'll rage about, but that is not one of them. That was pretty stupid though. But it was more funny than stupid. If it's more funny than stupid, I don't rage about that. <laughs> the most annoying bit is that uh, he... Um... He's on tech 23. Oh wow, that's cheap. No, there's no reason for me not to pick this up. It's not like we're waiting for admin to core shit. Well, we kinda are, but it's not a priority at all, so. France is probably gonna peace out anyway before the end of that war, so don't really need to worry about that. Best rage quit moment is when Portobola sells Algarve. Why would that be a rage quit moment? Don't quite understand. Don't, don't remember that in the slightest. Are you on tech 20? Oh god, no! Fuck me! But he doesn't. His army is, is terrible. He has the wrong units. Do you really wanna you really wanna do this, buddy? That's what I thought. You suck on my 33 transports. Suck on them! Suck on my transport ships. There you go. Right, uh please don't siege this down yet. I don't want to fight those eight ships. He's not willing to fight those eight ships, but I do need to be able to cross. Yes, thank you. And now you can get out of here because uh, I, I I don't trust the um, Portuguese Navy to stay AFK forever. So this army has almost repaired itself. The thing is, I can't actually fight Portugal. Uh, they're too strong. I mean, I can try to somewhat siege them down. Maybe, maybe... Maybe go for a little wanky danky, but uh, I don't see it happening. We could unsiege it, keep them busy. Of course, I do run the risk of them getting killed if I do that. So, how's the Netherlands doing? Doesn't the Netherlands own cores in any of this? No. So I can't uh, sell them out. Oh, we could probably piece out Austria, though. No. I was confusing the white with white stripes for his land that I was being occupying. That was I was occupying, so. How did I carpet seat you easily? What's the button? It's D. You press D. And then you select a whole bunch of guys, and then you click on something, and then you press V, and that unselects the bottom army from the list. And you click on a different province. V, 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 for victory. And then they do this. Very useful button indeed. Oh god. He keeps attacking into me, but he keeps losing. He should really stop doing that. Hey, uh, Netherlands, I don't suppose you want to... Where are you, buddy? I don't suppose you want the lowlands. Oh, 